Hi there, Graham Fletcher here, Mackenzie Friend, and in this video I'm just going to talk briefly about co-parenting, why it may well be an important factor to talk about in family court proceedings with the CAFCAS officer and with the solicitor and barrister for the other side and to the judge. So co-parenting is what you're going to do when you're separated and it's going to cover aspects of the parental responsibility piece, i.e. what are the decisions that you might need to both chat about for your children's welfare. It could be doctor's appointments, it could be vaccines, it could be going to secondary school, it could be going to sixth form, um, all sorts of things. And you should be collaborating and talking about those things together and even if you're down here and you feel that there's not really co-parenting happening at all, you might want to envisage uh, here's where I want to get in five, ten years and you want to talk about the energy of how you get there, that you want to be positive and you want to in five, ten years' time, be going, well, we used to be down here, and look at what we can do now. Um, we can go to graduation ceremonies. We can go to parents' evenings. We can celebrate um, ach educational achievements, uh, etc. So it's trying to vi envisage um, where you want to get to. Do you want to have joint birthday parties when they're 18, 21, etc.? Those things can be really positive in terms of a positive energy that comes from the heart that impresses people that even though you're here, you want to get here. And hopefully that excites you, is a, a vision that you have for, as a parent, that you want to move away from here and you want to get to the better place. Um, I've lived this journey myself. Many people discourage me and they told me not to think like that. And I thought, you know what, it's got to be better than this. And we got to um, a much better place of going to graduations together and celebrating birthdays together. It's not perfect and it would be unrealistic to imagine it would be because you've separated from the person for a number of reasons and there'll still be difference and that's to be accepted as well. So I think that's also an emotionally articulate way of looking at co-parenting that you're always going to recognise that there would be that difference. So I hope that positive energy burst on co-parenting helps you, gives you a bit of an idea of my co-parenting experience and if you'd like to speak to me about any co-parenting issues that you've got that you feel that I could help you with, with my 10 years experience of co-parenting, then please give me a call on 07906 956 035 and I'll do what I can to help you. Take care, thanks for watching.